Hello, I'm Derek, a metallurgist with Apollo. For today's Metallurgy Minute, we'll be talking about why stainless steel is called stainless. Let me show you. Here we have two mounted and polished steel samples. One is a medium carbon, low alloy steel, and the other is a highly alloyed stainless steel. I just poured highly concentrated nitric acid over both of these parts to see how each would respond. What happened is that the regular steel part easily corroded, whereas the stainless steel part, you guessed it, remained relatively unaffected by the corrosive acid. Although iron is the main alloying constituent in both of these materials, it's the chromium content that gives the stainless its edge. When a steel contains at least 10 to 12 percent chromium or greater, a transparent protective layer of chromium oxide forms on the surface. Chrome loves that oxygen, and when this layer forms, it's very resilient to many common corrosive environments. The oxide layer is also self-repairing, so that over time, the part retains its stainless brilliance. Without the chromium, the iron in the regular steel part is left to fend for itself. The oxides that form an iron are not protective and allow the corrosion to continue into the part. You know the most common form of this, rust. So the next time you're looking to keep a part from corroding away, stainless is a great place to start.